I'm Tyler. And I'm Katie. You are listening to Nostalgia, uh, the only podcast that's banned from your elementary school. Oh no. There were definitely a lot of things that were banned at our elementary school, I feel like. Could you identify any of the things that were banned from our Uh, elementary school? Pokemon cards. Okay. Nail clippers. (laughs) Kids were just clipping their nails. (laughs) I didn't know about the nail clippers. I knew about the Pokemon cards. Kids clipping. Uh, Anything else? Stop (laughs) clipping. Um... (laughs) Well, the thing we're going to do today on the podcast was definitely banned from our elementary was school. Was it? Yeah, before I tell you what it is, let me take you on a walk back into history. But before we walk back into history here, mm-hmm. can we just talk about how unfun our elementary school was? Like, <laughs> oh, we're going to ban nail clippers, we're going to ban Pokemon It wasn't cards. just us, though. This was a, a phenomenon, because was when it? I was researching this episode, it was one of the facts listed on almost but every page banned? about it. Because they were distracting. And I think with Pokemon cards... Kids would, like, steal them, or they'd purposely offer, like, really one-sided trades to, like, kids who didn't know any better. I think it was just to avoid the administration having to deal with disputes over, like, Pokemon cards and nail clippers, I guess. Well, good luck banning phones. (laughs) (laughs) We've tried. All right, Kate, let's go back in time to ancient Greek and Roman history, all right? Oh, my God, what? Back then, to entertain themselves, children played with sheep's ankle bones. So they would take their sheep ankles, and I guess they were preparing these sheep for food, and they whatever these bones were left over, they'd give them to kids. So this game was called uh, Astragal, because those bones are called Astrologus or something. I don't know how mm-hmm. to say it. Or otherwise known as Tali, Tabas, or its modern name is Knuckle Bones. Even though they were from mm-hmm. their ankles, for some reason it's called Knuckle Bones. And they would do a game that's like what we think of as jacks. They would like throw them in the air mm-hmm. and try to grab a bunch and catch the one... Was this banned at Rowan Elementary Schools? (laughs) Probably. Um, These also later evolved into dice. They started like putting, Uh you know, numbers on them and symbols on them. Uh, But originally they were just these weird little knuckle bones they would play different games with. They would also throw them in the air and then see which sides they landed on. Mm. And that's kind of how it turned into dice. Okay, they're mentioned in the Iliad and the Odyssey. They talk about knuckle bones. Uh, Sophocles wrote about them. They're represented on like ancient vases and stuff, kids playing with them. So it's very, it was very popular. Based on that game, in 1996, a company was created in Spain, and they created something called Crazy Bones. <laughs> but they were basing it entirely on this ancient Roman game. That's what it's inspired by. Okay. They were really, really popular. I, I remember Crazy Bones. Oh, good, good. They were really pure. Like I you're gonna remember. Stepped them. on a crazy bone once. It hurt. <laughs> Did it hurt? Yeah. Is it like <laughs> I know stepping on a Lego is a very hip it's thing like to talk about. Lead. Nobody talks about stepping on crazy bones. Because they're not timeless it's like true. Legos. Legos did last a lot longer. The crazy bones reign was like not as you're gonna see, not very long. So with these super popular crazy bones in Spain, these uh, these guys in America, Peter Gardner, his brother David Gardner, and who became their business manager, Scott Harris. They created a toy company in America in 1997 and licensed Crazy Bones. They didn't do any inventive work. work. They just made up a company and then they said, hey, we will pay you if we can sell that product here. And within two years, their company was worth $17 million. Wow. So the trick was they started like making, they did these promotions at like Cub Scout meetings and like at Mm. malls and they would just like give kids a sample and make them whipped into a frenzy and go crazy for it. So they begged their parents to buy more. They also, we're going to play some of the games you play with them, and kids would want to play. There are games? Oh, well, knuckle bones. I thought you would just stack them up. No. You're thinking of pogs, I think. No, 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 no. You we're going to do an episode on pogs in the future. You put them in a line, uh-huh. and you're like, look at my crazy bones. <laughs> I that gonna, seems like the only game that everyone in New Hope plays. I'm going to make you do that during this episode, but you do, there's other games to play with them, mm-hmm. even when they're in a line. But another reason they were banned is because kids would try to play for keeps, quote unquote, which is where you'd play these games and then whichever ones you knocked over, you could be like, those are mine now. Uh, it's sort of like marbles. Yeah, it's a lot like marbles. Okay. The other nostalgic piece to this for me is they were sold in a store called Zany Brainy. Do you remember Zany Brainy? Did you ever go? Only when we had to buy something for someone else. We didn't go to Zany Brainy for <laughs> us. Nobody, <laughs> nobody got you cool stuff. Can you describe Zany Brainy for anyone listening who doesn't remember? It's just remember? a wild toy store. You're wrong. It was a sciencey smart kid toy store. It wasn't just wild. It was pretty wild in there. Now, the fact that Crazy correctly. Bones were there doesn't prove what I just yeah. said at all, but they were mainly, when they were founded in 1991, they were mainly made to sell, like, sciencey toys. I mean, I don't think I ever bought any sciencey toys for another child in there, <laughs> because I don't think I ever got anything from Zany Brainy. 
sorry, Kate. Now that I think of it. Uh oh. I brought I'm up sad. traumatic memory. Well, they it's too late now because they only existed for ten years, from nineteen ninety one to two thousand one, before they went out of business. It's because they were too wild. I guess so. I don't think they were that wild. So what are we doing here? Are we just gonna like put our crazy bones in a line and look at them? That's definitely what everyone is wanting. No, you're gonna open some. You're gonna identify them because I brought the guide, which there's sixty original crazy bones. It's kind of like Pokemon. Did you spend money on this? I got you some unopened packs. All right, Kate, I'm going to lay five unopened packages of Crazy Bones. Did we sanitize these? Where did we get no, them? No, they just, they're coming right out of the eBay envelope right oh. now. Now, the best part for me was opening the package because you're trying to get all 60 of them over time and it's a random assortment. So it was this, you know, exciting, it was really a scam. It's a random assortment. So... I cannot believe there are people on eBay who do this. Oh my god. But they How much sell... money did you pay for Not these? much. Are they... you sure? I'm sure. Was it less or more than taking me out to dinner? Mm, oh, way less. Are you sure? I would, yeah, I was surprised. So people, there are people out there who sell who, unopened crazy ones. Who bought ones. these? What do you mean? Who in the 90s was like, let me buy this package. Oh, and like save it for the future. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But to help you, I also, I did not rebuy this. I've had this ever since I was oh a kid. Oh my God, you have, ha where is did you, where did you? The Crazy Bones, what does it say? Crazy for Crazy Bones. Was it, this in our house? Yeah, it's been in our house the whole time. But no. this is the field guy. Where? In is our... it in some secret box in our no. basement where it, you keep it, all your crap? It was, on the, uh, it was in there on the bookshelf with some, with some Pokemon um, Pokedex guides. Anyway. I'm throwing those away today. <laughs> so this, I, I think I got it from a Scholastic Book Fair, or mm. me or my brother did, I'm not sure. Was this, did a Scholastic Book Fair ever sell anything of value? <laughs> I would just like to know. <laughs> Could you do the honors and open these crazy, you're so lucky you get to do this. You're reliving I'm one of really my favorite concerned. childhood memories. Are one, I, I, they look sticky. They're fine, they're not sticky. They're I'm, foil packs. I'm very worried. Oh, can you, can you describe the packaging? Uh, it's foily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's made by the World Crazy Bones Association. Yep. Don't kids like these videos, these unboxing videos? Yeah, I just learned about you're these. You're making it up. I can't believe this. Oh my god. What are, are these stickers? Yep. Is it a pumpkin with a mouth? What is this? A checklist? Who made a checklist? So you can, you know, figure out who you got. Oh my god. All right, let's see who we have. Here's what we have. It's an eggplant with eyes. Okay. Oh, you're lining your crazy bones Yeah, I'm lining up my crazy bones. <laughs> I'm going to put my nail clipper next to it. This is like the mom from that 70s show. This guy is like a, he's an angry eggplant. Same sort of shape as the eggplant with eyes, but he's got a protuberance on his top. Oh, are they different? What looks like a yellow parrot. I'm not sure what that is. All right, so you get four per pack is yeah. what we're learning. I couldn't remember. Four per, how much were these? Great question. They don't have a price on them, do they? No. I should have looked that up, but I didn't. I don't think I could even find that if I these tried. These were absolutely like five dollars. They they cost some money. I can't believe your mom bought these. No, my mom bought me a lot of crazy oh. bonds. All right, who do we got? Oh, oh, they spilled out. <laughs> this is just a blooby blob. Oh, here's another eggplant with eyes. Oh, did you get a duplicate already? How are they different? One is green. He's kind of shiny too. He's a metallic. Cake. This is an alien it looks like those little guys from the uh <laughs> that sesame street thing where they're like beep, 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 beep. no idea what you're talking about oh my god because you didn't watch sesame street <laughs> instead you were buying whatever these are what is this what is this can anyone tell me what this is <laughs> it looks like the poop emoji <laughs> oh my god oh and don't forget your stickers here Ooh. take your stickers how soon after this can I put these in the trash? <laughs> Never, Kate. I'm going to stuff have... on one of these in the night. <laughs> I now have a whole collection of crazy bones. Make sure you get your scorecard. Don't forget your stickers. What? Who is this? Who is this? <laughs> Who's this blue person? Here's another misshapen plastic item. <laughs> you should have named those that instead Make of crazy Make sure bones. you get whatever that is, guys. <laughs> Pay money for this. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> no words what is this brown translucent thing oh, oh this is the you got angry one. chef again you got one you can see through oh that's great oh my god i still have to unbox eight more <laughs> my arms hurt oh make sure they're all in a neat line <laughs> what is this thing oh this is bulbous look at that 
That's like something a doctor takes off of you during Lowe's surgery. Oh, that one is gen- look at the teeth on that. That's genuinely unpleasant. I don't know what that is. It's, it's just a- this is a turkey's waddle. It looks glittery inside. Always glittery. Amazing. What is that? That looks like evil Harry Potter creature. I don't want stickers. What is that? I don't like you. All these look the same to me. I only got three in this package. What? It's a ripoff. Wait, really? Yeah. I, I can't believe a, it. Look, I got an evil clown. I want you to figure out who you got. I can't believe you're making me do this. You got the color and style guys. What kind look. of colors are there? There's glowies. They glow in the dark. Ooh, do we, wait, did we get any of those? No. Oh. There's ice bones, which are, I guess, <laughs> clear. There's precious metal, gold. These are rare. There's oh. sparkles, but they're not pictured, so I don't know what this they look right like. Right here. This? Oh, I'm this assuming that one's sparkle. Metal. Like, uh, these are, these are metal. This one's metal, I think. Does that look metal? I mean, it's as metal as a plastic crazy bone can get, yeah. There's something called jellies, which are clear and softly <laughs> colored. Here are some extraordinary bones that are not pictured. Here's one called toothpaste, which is swirls of colors mixed with streams of pearly white streaks, which we do not have. I'm saying that's extraordinary, but it's really just a way that they didn't have to clean out the machine, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Something yes. called whistlers, which is asking you to blow into it like oh, a soda no. bottle. It was in a package. I could put this in Oh my god, mouth. don't. Oh my god. No, I don't think that's a whistler. Something called gooey. Oh. Melted differently into a unique and gooey bone shape. That is literally just a factory reject. Here's the checklist. Yes. And it looks like Nerdy Tyler has checked some off. Let's identify our bones. This one is called Menace, I think. Okay. That seems terrible. You got Menace. This one's little mouth is awful. Isn't that Clyde? Oh no, Clyde has a party hat. Here's a scoodly moosh. What is that? Big mouth. <laughs> and how descriptive. Here's one called dummy, which is just a baby with a pacifier. I'm confused. Get that out of here. What is this? This doesn't even have features. It's a featureless Can I item. Wait, he's, he's glittery. All right, you don't have to do this anymore. Oh, thank God. Just to point out, at least when I was a kid, this guy, Eggy here, he's number three. Uh -huh. He was perceived to be the rarest. I don't know if that's mm. true, if that's an urban legend. But I remember being out somewhere once and there was like a teenager, which at the time felt like someone really old. Like you're really She had, her. yeah, she had an eggy crazy bone in like, they made these necklaces that was like a little cage you'd wear around your neck and she had eggy in the little crazy bone cage. That seems really horrific. A little bit. Smart though. Good business. You ready to play some games? Sure. All right. Uh, let's start. God, capitalism's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let, the book luckily has... Seven classic games. We're not going to oh. do all seven. Oh, thank God. But we can do traditional, okay? All right. Ready? Which is just line all your crazy bones up and look at them, right? Each player takes turns to throw or roll five crazy bones in the air. You score points depending on how your bones land. Standing up, a.k.a. ace, is five points. On the side is two points. Face up is one point. Face down is zero points. Mm -hmm. You get three throws, all right? Okay. Grab five of your favorite bones. All right. Make so this room. is just how the Greek children would do it. Sort of. This is one, mind, of, mind one of their green. games. <laughs> Very coordinated. You ready? Oh. They all landed on the table. This is dreadful. Okay, so what do we got? Anybody standing up? No. No aces? How about on their side? Any on their side? Yeah, that one. One. All right, and this so, one. Um, no, he's clearly on his side. I'll allow it. That's, that would be two points each. That's four. Face down is zero. You have two zeros. And face up is one. So you have five points. That's right. Five points, Kate. Where are my bones? Okay, how'd I do? Face up, one. Is that face up or down? He's up. His face is up. Two. These are both down. Uh, so I have two face up. That's two points. Is he on his side or no, up? No, he's definitely down. Damn, what do you mean? On, on his back or on his side? On his side. On his back. Okay, I'll count that. So that's three three me, five you. Okay. Right. Go ahead, roll. Three up, one on his side. Side was two. Plus three is five again. You have ten points. Oh. I have three points. I don't like this game anymore. It's five. Okay, so I have eight. You have ten. Go. Roll. One more roll. Down, 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 down. Two up, two. So you have 12 points. Oh! It's only 12 to eight now. In the final roll. 
<laughs> do not blow those crazy bones on their sides. Uh, one, two, three. Is that a fourth? Is he on his side or his back? I don't know. I won. No, it's definitely a tie. All right, that's a tie. We'll call it four. That's 12-12 tied crazy bones match. Okay, so do you feel like a Greek child now? In the sense that I probably hate my life, yes. <laughs> Right, Ancient Greece was probably terrible. Let's play the game that really was all I ever did when I did this. It's called Battle. Is it just stack your crazy bones up and look at each other? No, but I do need you to stack four. Let's see how many. No, six. Line six, six? crazy bones up on your side of the table. And I'll do six. This is where you flex one. your best crazy bones. Oh, I need one more. Me too. I need one more piece of garbage. <laughs> We're going to take turns flicking our crazy bones. <laughs> Across the table, no. and if you can knock the other persons over, they get removed from the battlefield. It's sort of like marbles, then. Yeah. I would like to note that the illustrations in this book are horrific. They're pretty bad. Like, look, can you describe the kids that are playing the battle game here? This kid's hair is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can go first. Oh, whoa! You got two with your first flick. You're a master. Aha! Uh -huh. Not as good as you, but I still knocked one over. This is unbelievable. <laughs> You're destroying me. I only have two left already. Unlike <laughs> other kids, I have depth perception. <laughs> I didn't hit oh, anyone that oh, turn. Bummer. I'm down to one crazy bone. Oh, phew. all right. I got one down, but I'm left with just one guy here. I gotta, I gotta really make a comeback. I gotta rally here. All whiffed. right. I whiffed. Katie, you, you messed up. I'm still in the game. Ah. <laughs> oh, and it went under the table, oh. so we're never getting it back. <laughs> I went right between two bones. Oh, oh, here we go. Things are slowing down. Is it? We're both missing. Go miss. Oh, oh nice. All right, here we go. I got another one, so I have one left. Katie's got three. Oh, God. This really, is horrific. I'm really choking there, Katie. I know. Oh, what a lame flick on my part. Here. Oh, wow. That was a bad bounce. It, did you see it? It jumped over him. Oh. Oh, Shoot. yes. All right. I, I made a real big comeback here, guys. This is the point where, like, <laughs> you start fighting each other at recess. This is why they ban them. It's one to two right I'm now. banning these from our marriage. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow, this, this, guy, this one is a piece of junk. What is, who is I wanna, this? I want a new one. Oh, I gotta get one. Oh, right in the middle. I made a substitution because we can't find Mike. <laughs> I should win by default. <laughs> oh, there it is. That's game. Deuces. <laughs> Katie is the crazy bone master. We should try airborne, maybe. Each player lines up five crazy bones. Throw the first crazy bone into the air and quickly try to pick up the second crazy bone and catch the first before it falls. So it's just jacks. Yes. If you're able to do this, replace the second crazy bone and repeat the action with the third crazy bone. You lose when you make a mistake. You ready? You're yeah. going to pick one up. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll try it. I'm supposed to throw this in the air and then pick up one of my bones. Oh. And now it's your turn. Yeah! I win. All right, good. Are we done? <laughs> Really gotta find that one that I lost. Yeah, you're gonna step on it in the night, <laughs> one night in the summer. I think I in can six months, I and then you're it. gonna be like, "Oh, these these dang crazy <laughs> bones! I don't know who bought these." Oh, I can see it. Oh my God! Stop crawling around on the ground. Oh. It's a it's a toy. I need it. All right, Kate, let's hear your thoughts on crazy bones. It was pretty much a waste of my life. Sorry, babe. Oh. That was terrible. Uh, I I all right. You're entitled to your opinion, yeah. but. I would like to put forth the counter argument that I noticed you're having quite a bit of fun during the I wasn't battle having fun. the battle game. You seem to be enjoying, at least while you were winning. Am I, I wrong in I that like observation? Winning. So you could be winning at anything and yeah. you'd be fine. Okay. Yeah, I just enjoy winning. Um, do you see why kids maybe went crazy for these? Uh yeah, I do. And I it makes me question all the parenting that our our parents' generation did. That I'm sure there were plenty of parents who said, I'm not buying you plastic crap. But my parents were not among them. Yours were. You didn't have crazy bones. No. I want to finish this by saying crazy bones are still around, sort of. 
as far as I could tell, the, the most recent reference I could find of them was from 2012, but you can buy new packs on Amazon. Not like these new packs that we bought, which are actually old packs. So if you can uh, think of a podcast-appropriate fad that was banned from your school in the 90s, go ahead and uh, write in. You can send us a voice message on Anchor. You can tweet us. You can send us an Instagram direct message. Um, you can email us. You can email us, nostalgia at AOL.com. Our music was composed by George Stryker. You can also go to our website, www.nostalgia.org, which very purposely looks like all the Crazy Bone Collectors websites that were around back then. Speaking of, crazybones.com still looks like that. Check it out. Ugh. Our website will make you feel in your heart the way your feet feel when you step on a crazy bone. <laughs> if you like things that aren't cluttered. <laughs>